Victims of the Windrush scandal have been invited to provide details of their ordeals as the government draws up a compensation scheme. The Home Office has launched a month-long call for evidence as it seeks to compensate Commonwealth citizens who suffered financial losses because of difficulties proving their immigration status. Home Secretary Sajid Javid said people of the Windrush generation had unfairly had the lives they have built in the UK turned upside down. He added, to put things right we need to understand more about what happened and to understand the personal stories. That is exactly what today's call for evidence is about. But Labour MP David Lammy, a prominent figure in exposing the fiasco, said the move doesn't help the people left destitute because they are unable to work or claim benefits. He also questioned when the compensation scheme will be in place. Ministers have faced a furious backlash over the treatment of the Windrush generation named after a ship that brought migrants to Britain from the Caribbean. People who have been living legally in the UK for decades have lost their jobs, been denied access to NHS treatment, benefits and pensions, had their driving licenses withdrawn and warned they face deportation. A Home Office document published on Thursday said the call for evidence which runs until 8 June is open to members of the Windrush generation who have faced difficulties in establishing their status under the immigration system. Any other interested organizations and individuals can also submit contributions. People caught up in the saga are invited to answer questions about how they were affected, when they first knew there was a problem, and what losses they experienced. Mr. Javid also announced that Martin Ford QC, himself the son of Windrush parents, will provide independent advice on the design of the compensation scheme. An official estimate for the number of people who could be eligible for the scheme has not been released. The number of potential victims of the scandal was approximately 3,000, as of last week, MPs were told. Plans for the scheme were first unveiled by former Home Secretary Amber Rudd, who resigned after admitting inadvertently misleading Parliament over targets for removing illegal immigrants 